Good morning, guys. We have less than 20 days to the election. It's now Friday, and all week everyone's been talking about Biden, 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 Biden. Not the good kind either. Yesterday, he could barely get anyone to watch his town hall. He had maybe 20, 30,000 people watching his town hall. And Daddy Trump over here, 200,000 views, 300,000 views, 700,000 views. The metrics are there. Donald Trump is on everyone's radar. His rallies show it, his speeches show it, and anytime there's an event, you can bet there's going to be thousands of people trying to get to see Donald Trump. Meanwhile, Joe Biden and his like 10 people trying to get in, trying to be like, oh, the media, the media says that Donald, that Biden's winning. No, he's not. He's not winning. This is exactly what happened in 2016 when they were telling you that Hillary Clinton had a 93% chance of success. This is the deep state run media trying to tell you what to think. The deep state run media is also suppressing Kayleigh McEnany and the Trump team. Twitter has suspended those accounts because they shared a news article about Hunter Biden. Who's Hunter Biden? Joe Biden's crack smoking son. And when I say it like that, it's mean, but it's true. The part that bothers me the most is the fact that the New York Post and the Times and all these other news articles can share and come out and say, look, we have Donald Trump's tax returns. He only paid $600 a year, blah, 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 blah. Never mind if it's real or not. This is just an article that they put out there. But a blind computer service technician who finds this laptop because it was left there, the guy dropped it off for repair and never picked it up. So of course they're going to go through it and find out who it is, what's going on, what can, we, what can they use before they wipe it. And sure enough, it's Hunter Biden and his crack smoking pictures and pornography. God knows what else is on there. But the media is going to tell you that it doesn't exist. They're going to suspend you for sharing that article or prevent you from sharing that article altogether. This is exactly what we call deep state run media, which is why nobody likes the mainstream news. Donald Trump was on that panel yesterday with Town Hall, the Town Hall, and the ugly woman in the Pepto-Bismol pink and the clog hoppers was over there trying to get him to answer gotcha question. The woman is wearing the ugliest shoes known to mankind. You're being paid tens of thousands of dollars a year to be on TV and you pick the ugliest shoes and the most Pepto-Bismol pink outfit that you could think of. Go ahead. I get it. It's Handmaiden's Tale. You're looking, trying to make yourself look good. You know, you would have been much prettier had you dressed like Cardi B and her little nastiness. I love you guys all. I'm excited to see all of the rallies that are happening all over the state, all over my country. My friends and I have gone from one rally a month where maybe 10 of us show to 10 rallies a month where we are all going to 10 different rallies. There's rallies in Carson, there's rallies in Huntington Beach, there's rallies in Riverside, there's rallies in Woodland Hills, Topanga, you name it, there's rallies. And so my friends are now scattered to the winds, but we always come back together to, for our important events like the election, like uh, debate watching parties, like these big important rallies where we really need to defend our cities. And it's through those friends that I'm able to get some really, really cool memorabilia. This shirt was actually brought to me by a friend of mine who went to DC. She was like, grab me shirts, like, I want this one for this one. And I'll tell you right now, if you ever want to get me a shirt, you're ever around, you're like, oh, I want to get him a shirt. Just grab me whatever shirt. I'm not picky. I actually can sew. So I run this thing through the sewing machine and it fits me perfectly. It doesn't matter what size it is, as long as it's not a small because I can't really add fabric. You guys, I'm so excited to keep doing this. We've got a rally this weekend here in my hometown of Antelope Valley. And then I'm going to go to Riverside to see my friend Billy because they've always come out to Los Angeles. So it's time to return the favor. This is what a family does is we go back and forth, back and forth, and we enjoy one another's company. You guys are my family. You guys keep me going. You guys give me articles and remind me that, hey, this is important. This is important. This is happening. And this is happening because... Coming up with new content, coming up with new stories every single week can be challenging. The news provides a bunch of stuff, but you guys also help me to develop my thoughts and develop my feelings. And I want to thank you guys for all of the work that you're doing because together we are going to make our country great again. I love you guys all. Bye guys.